want to make a quick review for you of your website. I uh, I think you're doing really, really well. For I mean, having only done this for a month, I'm, I'm impressed with your progress. I haven't looked at your site until now. I like making these videos just really off the cuff and shooting from the hip because uh, it's the most natural feedback I can give you. And I definitely understand that it's hard to see the details when you're uh, so focused on the big picture of your business. So, yeah, let's get into it. So you may have heard me say it before, but this area right here before the fold, in other words, before I scroll, is the most critical uh, real estate on your entire website. When someone comes to their site within literally a couple seconds, if not less, they're going to make a decision on if this site is for them or not. You've got to be able to clearly articulate what the site is, what you're about, what you sell, immediately or they'll leave and one way to test this and, and you need to make sure you have the the necessary amount of traffic to be able to test it so since you're brand new you may not have this traffic yet but as you grow in traffic look at your bounce rate see how quickly people bounce from your site see if they look at more pages than just your home page if they dig deeper into your site if they leave quickly like within a few seconds it's an indication that either you're not bringing in the right traffic so for example if I'm a dog person you're marketing to me about cat items i'm not i'm not your right demographic so that could be a sign uh, or that could be one of the signs that you're marketing to the wrong demographic or two if you are marketing to the correct demographic you need to, to do that first but if you are then you're not correctly potentially you're not correctly conveying what it is that you do within a few seconds thus they're bouncing quickly from your site so it's a very strong indicator of how things are going okay um i like the logo here it, uh, I want it to be just slightly better quality. So I'm on a, a Mac with a Retina display and it's a little bit grainy for me. So it's a small detail, maybe something you can talk to your uh, developer um, or your designer about, see if you can just get a little bit higher quality image that looks good on, on high quality displays. That, uh, that definitely makes the site look a little bit more professional. I like this bar. It's, it's relevant that you have um, you know select items on sale in April 17th. That tells me that it's timely and relevant. The message is, I'm glad you have a way to reach out. That looks weird there. I would have it down here. And also, I would consider having a chat widget that, that allows people to chat with you that aren't on Facebook. I realize most of the world is, but there's still people that aren't. And uh, you're excluding people, um, you know, potentially excluding, excluding them if they're not on Facebook. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so because this is the most important real estate, there's a lot of space here. Like, I like your logo, but there's just a lot of space in here. Consider this. Let me show you something. If you go to blog.groovejar.com, this is my blog. So just follow this link here. Click on this first one, how to boost your conversion rate. Click on that. So I took a deep dive and looked at all of the... Um, several different examples of websites and how they made a first impression or how important the first impression is. So I recommend reading this, but let me show you an example. So in this example, this is just a, a picture of the homepage. There's this hero image. It, it clearly says that in their brand, you know what they do, toy shades. You've got this confident, attractive lady here, sunglasses on, she's representing their product. But the whole image kind of covers the, the page here. So I can foresee you doing this with your um, Oh My Cat logo here and having this hero image um, fill this whole area that way you use this prime real estate because I, I see that you have you know photos coming down here and that's great but you're just wasting space here which you could better use and get more image above the fold okay on that note another thing that I really like to see is a tagline oh my cat all right well what what is that what do you sell I need to know immediately not just by way of a picture but also by way of, of a tagline or description so oh my cat and then what is it so what is it that you sell you know what are clothing for cat lovers or um, you know accessories for cat lovers whatever it is and another thing to consider is so y you would think that being in the the cat niche would be would be niched down enough but actually it looks like you have a pretty broad offering. So it looks like you have underwear for cats or not for cats, but um, like cat underwear and then, um, you know, cosmetic bags, I guess just cat accessories. Um, you know, I, I, mean, I don't know. I guess that's okay. But just just make it clear what it is you offer. Uh, cat or, or um, accessories and clothing for the cat lover, something like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you just need to convey to me what it is you offer, convey to your, your visitor what it is that you offer. Um, okay, and generally speaking, I'm a huge fan of, of rather than having multiple different pictures showing up here, having just the one image like this. And then they'll go down, they'll see a lot more pictures as they browse your site, but, but just boom, it's captivating. It's, it's the essence of what you do, and it's not just a bunch of different pictures. Um, 
yes, it just presents better and it looks more classy and professional. And it can be overwhelming when these toggle through. It can be overwhelming. You know, if you have these going too fast, and it's definitely overwhelming to the visitor, if you have them going too slow, then they're not going to see it. So most people are going to come in, look at your site, and then they're going to just start scrolling. So in other words, they're only going to see whatever is currently here, most likely, with the speed that you have yours set up. So it's something to consider. Okay. Feature products. Instagram. Cool. Instagram's going to be huge for you. That's going to be really, really great. So have you seen, there is, um, let me show you something. So there's a way that you can set up your Instagram via an app. There's several apps on the Shopify app store that can do this. You can search for them, but basically you can make your Instagram feed sellable. So look at this site here. They are actually selling from their Instagram feed. So if you click this, you can add to cart through the Instagram feed, which is pretty sweet. I think that would be a really good thing for you to invest in because definitely your niche would be good for Instagram. And I'm glad to see that you're on there. Um, that'll be really important to focus on. Okay, let's look at a product. Um, no, I don't guess it matters. Let's uh, let's look at these. These look pretty funny. Okay. All right, give me one second to look over this. Okay, so you're you're much further along than a lot of people that are that are this new to Shopify. I'm really impressed. So this is really good. So. Think about it, like your, your product pages need several things. They need high quality imagery. You obviously have it here. I love that you can zoom in on this. That's great. More images, the better. You have quite a few, so that's really good. And you're just, like, the, the page is attractive, actually. It, the, the product page is, is clean, it's neat. This is a good size copy. The, and then you have reviews. This is another suggestion I always make. I get that you don't have reviews yet, but you have a place to, to, for clients to leave them. That's huge. I mean, think about making purchases on Amazon. When I buy things from Amazon, if something has no reviews, I don't buy it. If it has bad reviews, I don't buy it. And, and most people are like me in that regard. So as you get reviews for your products, you're going to increase conversions just automatically. Okay, consider this. When you write the description, it's great to have the, the features. The, the features are what you have listed here. Five layers of fabric, outer layer, uh, printed fabric, da, 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 you know, final layer of 100% organic cotton. That's great. But what is even more important to list is the benefits. What are the benefits to the people wearing this? Uh, you know, a good night's sleep. Or, you know, like, think about that. What are the emotions? People buy with emotions. And if you can articulate the benefits, not just the features, but the benefits of using your products in each one of your product descriptions, they're going to sell better. Okay, look at this example. All right, so this is just very interesting. So this is uh, some gel hand wash. But, but t take a pause of this video and just read this. So they have this, and then they have this here. I mean, look at this. One whiff of this soothing sea scent, and you may be inspired to stand on the bow of a sailing ship with your arms outstretched like a bird flying towards the shore. I mean, like, like it's it's captivating. Very interesting. You wouldn't think to write that, but it's captivating emotions. That I mean, that's the whole idea. And you can transfer that into all of your product. Think about the emotions behind the product. What are the benefits? And write with that person. Think about one person, right? Think about your best friend and she's going to buy this. What are the benefits to her? And write it in that way. Write the copy as if you're talking to one person, not a group of people. And you'll see a difference in your conversions based on that. It really does make a huge difference. Okay, let's check your about page here. Okay. All right, give me one second. Page is a hugely important place to represent your brand. I, I encourage everybody that I speak to to put a picture of themselves. I don't know if that's you, Catherine, or or not. I'm assuming it is. Um, <laughs> I guess people would assume me the way that it is. But yeah, having a picture of yourself is great. It builds trust and credibility. I'd recommend reducing this just a little bit, moving it to the left, and having this text wrap around the image. Uh, that would be a really good idea. But but this is this is good. Um, and again, think as you as you go through this about the benefits of, of this, like the benefits of the relationship with your cat. I mean, you know, and, and speak to, to one person, but you're well on your way with this. This is, this is a good page. Let me uh, give me one second here. This is good, Catherine. You're doing great with this. This is like you only need to change a few small things. Uh, and you're just well on your way. This is really great. Okay, let me go back to the main homepage. All right, so let's talk about one more thing. So 
if you think about it, when people come to your site, their the most valuable commodity is their attention. The only way you have to capture their attention again on your terms is if you collect an email from them. Otherwise, when they leave, they're gone and you don't have any way to proactively reach out and get in front of them again. So I highly suggest capturing emails on your site. I have a tool on my site, GrooveJar.com, that's called Groove Urgent. It has a countdown timer that works to capture emails and converts really well. And the point is you capture the email addresses and then work to, to nurture those leads into paying clients over time. There's other, there's other companies as well that do a really good job. Sumo Me is one, Privy is one. Regardless of who you use, start collecting emails now because that has the power to, to change your brand significantly. In fact, so one of my sites is wetshaveclub.com. It's a subscription box company for wet shaving products. And a third of our sales come from uh, the Groove Jar app just because we're able to nurture those leads and the emails and, and uh, build a relationship over time and, and uh, provide value and work to convert them. So definitely something you want to focus on. Now, that being said, um, you know, the more traffic you have, the more effective tools like that are. I know that you're new and you're, you're building up traffic. So start there, get your traffic up a bit, focus on, on really targeting people that are into cats and, and make sure you're bringing good traffic to the site and then make sure that you are collecting emails from that traffic. All right, Catherine, let me know if you have any specific questions. I'm, I'm happy to help. We can take a deeper dive into anything that we talked about. Hope you have a good Tuesday. Take care.